Okay, so now I'm going to answer a question for Mechanics M1, June 2012, the GCE paper, question number five. And this question is all about um, projectile, up, um, projectile motion, um, motion, vertical motion under gravity. Okay, so now, a particle P is projected vertically upwards from a point A with speed U meters per second. The point A is 17.5 meters above horizontal ground. The particle P moves freely under gravity until it reaches the ground with a speed of 28 meters per second. Show that U is equal to 21. Okay, so let's get started with that. So a particle P is projected vertically upwards from a point A with speed u meters per second. The point A is 17.5 17 meters above horizontal ground. So let's say we have horizontal ground. Oops. Let's say we have horizontal ground over here. I don't want the arrow there. What am I doing? Okay, let's move it a bit lower. Sorry about that. Okay, so that's say that's a horizontal ground. Now this has been thrown from 17.5 meters above horizontal ground. Let's just say that this is the point um, A, which is 17.5 meters above horizontal ground. Okay, so here we have the point we're going to call A. This is the point A. Okay, so this is like our starting point. So this point A is 17.5 meters above horizontal ground. All right, so it's above the horizontal ground. So this distance here is 17.5 meters. 17.5 meters. Okay, it's projected upwards. It's projected upwards. Okay, with initial speed of u. We don't know what it is. I have to find it. I have to show that's equal to 21. And it goes up, reaches the top of its flight, obviously, and then comes down again. Right, it's coming down exactly along the same kind of path that it's gone up, but I'm drawing them separately so we can see it's gone vertical. It's gone vertically up and vertically down along that same line, but I've drawn them separately so we can see what's going on. Okay, so now. So obviously it's gone up, it's reached a speed of zero when it's got to the top of its flight, and then it's gone down, and that's all due to the fact that gravity is acting downwards. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the direction of upwards as positive. It's very, very, very important okay, that you take your directions okay, um, seriously when you're dealing with mechanics. Okay, lots of marks are lost, not only in this particular uh, part of the topic, but in most parts of the topic, okay, from the fact that people do not take into account the fact that the directions are very important. Okay, so this has gone up, reached a zero velocity, come down, and by the time it hits the ground, which is 17.5 meters below the point from which it was thrown, its speed has reached 28 meters per second. Whoops, 28 meters per second. Okay. And at that point, of course, it's traveling in the direction going down. At that point. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to write down what we know from the um, values from the SUVAT equations. It's displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, and time. SUVAT. It's always a good idea to write this down so we can write down all the information we know and then decide which one of the equations of motions that we're going to use because of course now we're going to dealing with uh, we're dealing with constant acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so we can use the SUVAT equation. So we know that gravity is acting in this direction. Let's make a double arrow so like acceleration. So G is acting down. Okay, gravity always acts down towards the Earth. So now. This is where the, the directions come important. I've taken upwards as positive because the projectile was projected upwards. Okay, the particle was projected upwards. So this is our zero position. Okay, anything above that will be positive. Anything below that will be negative. Now, S is not distance. S is not the distance has gone up and then the distance has gone down added to it. That's not the 
S does not represent the distance that it's, that it's traveled. S represents its displacement from its initial position. Okay, now its displacement from its initial position is minus 17.5 meters because it's below the zero point and okay, it's below the zero point. Okay, and we're taking up as positive, so it must be negative. Okay, the initial speed is u, which we have to find. The final speed, the speed at which it's traveling just before it hits the ground, okay, is negative as well because it's going down and we're taking up as positive, so it's minus 28 meters per second. The acceleration is acting downwards, which is gravity g, which is equal to 9.8. So, because it's acting downwards and we're taking up as positive, we also have to mark that as a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And the time, we don't actually have to worry about the time in this part of the question. So now, we can see we've got S, U, V and A. V squared equals U squared plus 2AS seems like the suitable equation to use. So, V squared equals U squared plus 2 times A times S. Now, we know V is minus 28. When we square that, don't forget to square the minus sign as well. It's going to become positive. U is what we have to find, so that's U squared plus 2. Now, A is minus 9.8, and S is minus 17.5. So be very, very careful about the minus signs. Okay, so now we can take the calculator, and we can say we've got minus 28 Okay, so we're going to have minus 28 squared, which is the same as saying 28 squared, because the minus is also squared. That gives us 784. So we have 784 is equal to u squared, and then we're going to have minus times minus is plus. We'll have 2 times 9.8 times 17.5. And that gives us 343. That's positive or plus 343. So u squared is going to be 784 minus 343, so 784 minus 343, which gives you 441, and therefore u is going to be the square root of 441, which is 21. Okay, so u is going to be 21 meters per second. We don't have to worry about saying which direction it's going, whether it's up or down. Of course it's going up, we know it's going up anyway, but the, the point is they told us about finding the speed. The speed is just the magnitude of the velocity, okay? So you just have to give the magnitude of the velocity, that's all. In this case, it wouldn't really make sense because they told us it's going up anyway, so just a, a side point there. So there is our answer for part A, and I'll do part B in the next, um, in the next video, okay?